All right, guys, so we got quite a bit going on today. I need to go get salt for the driveway. I need to get the rest of the wood cut up that I cut, and I'm looking for my jaws mount. There it is. I have this. So I can get some salt on the driveway, and then I'm going to run back here to the house, take my spend saw and process up some wood so we have it for the next couple days if i want to have a fire or do some cooking i can get that done as well later i want to do a review on the uco fire starter it's like a little pyramid strike anywhere so we're gonna get on the road and get rocking let's do it i wanted to show you my new tires on my bike they are crossover tires not like the regular track dirt trail tires these are going to help me be able to ride on smoother ground and not have the camera so jumpy i need to get this bike and bike rack off so sad day i ended up losing my tokyo spike from cold steel and i ordered another one and i'm hoping that it came in the mail it should have arrived today so gonna run down and check the mailbox and see if maybe it's there i hope it is um ever since i started wearing uh a, a small blade around my neck it's really really hard to divert because I feel naked uh, without one so we're gonna check the mail and see if it's there I hope it is I don't know how it fell out Nope. All right, guys, made a little stop. You know, I'm not really a big fan of these, uh, of the Mountain Dew drink. It's just a bit much, but this Mountain Dew, the white label, it actually isn't that bad. It only has 35 grams of sugar as compared to like 77 or something of the regular Mountain Dew. So I like them. But anyways, we stopped and got some drinks and some chow these chips right here these camp cod sea salt and vinegar are freaking amazing even the black pepper ones and the barbecue ones i love their chips but anyways we are on the way to lowe's to grab some salt and uh and then like i said we're gonna head back to my house and uh cut up what's left of the tree that i cut down and uh then we'll have some firewood for the storm coming up. All right, so I'm gonna move this out some more. Got 120 pounds. That wasn't supposed to happen. And uh, better safe than sorry. So they say. All right. Got that done. We'll see if we can go find a sled down there at Ollie's for my daughter. Well, she has one more for me. <laughs> We will see what happens. Let's see if we can find one, guys. Beautiful, 
beautiful day today. And you wouldn't think that tomorrow it's going to be bad weather, but that's how quick it changes. Like, in an instant, the weather changes around here. You'd swear we're in the rainforest. Alright, let's go to Ollie's. And then we're going to head back to the house. I need to get this salt put down. My hands are getting hot. Before it gets too much darker out. So we're going to head on over to Ollie's. Beautiful day. It's like 48 degrees. And it's hard to believe tomorrow it's going to be snowing. Blows my mind, y'all. Blows my mind. See you at the next stop. It's so nice I have the windows down. But I also put the windows down when it's like 19 degrees. So it really makes no difference at all. They have already got salt lines on the road here. People are filling up propane cylinders, filling up their gas, getting their groceries to make milk and bread sandwiches and all kinds of fun stuff. Got people in BMWs driving like they have no sense. And we are on our way to Ollie's. Oh yeah. See if I can find me a sled. Hopefully. Rolling up by Tractor Supply. We'll see what, what kind of craziness is going on here. Getting a trash bin. And on down to Ollie's. Hopefully they have a my size sled for the taking. We will get in there and find out. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Be back in a minute. All right, so didn't find a sled, but what are you going to do? It's all right. We are going to go to the house, salt the driveway, cover up the boat, maybe switch the other tarp around, and... Uh, see what we can get done in a very short amount of time oh boy whatever the case we are gonna make it happen all right guys so I'm back out the house I'm gonna grab my ice salt and start at the bottom of the driveway and work my way up to the top. This should be tons of fun. So, we're gonna start right here and work our way backwards. Let's do it. All right, I got the back of the driveway done. Now, I just need to get the uh, stairs done outside the house and the uh, walkway. So we're gonna do that and then we'll be done. Sweet guys, thanks to UPS, I got my package in the mail. So I'm gonna open it up right here so you can see. 
I love Amazon Prime and I love UPS. Cold steel. Spike. Four inch blade, overall length eight inches. Steel is German, 4116 stainless. 2.3 ounces, blade thickness three millimeters. Handle is four inch Grevix. Tokyo Spike. I love this knife. This thing is awesome. They have four different kinds of spikes. They have the Bowie Spike, the Drop Point Spike, the Tonto Spike, and the Tokyo Spike. I like the Tokyo Spike because this one actually has a sharper spine. And what it does is it actually makes ridges in my fire steel which most people would say well why the heck would you want ridges in your fire steel and i will explain to you why whoo she is razor sharp guys it's my alarm i need to put it on snooze or or off um I like it because it makes ridges in my fire steel. And, and like I said, you would say, well, why in the world would you want ridges in your fire steel? Well, the reason that I like ridges is because when you use a 90 degree spine blade, it will actually run across those ripples on your fire steel and it will throw all of those ripples into a spark. So it, it, it helps... Uh, in more than one way um, and I could actually show you in a video if you would like what exactly I mean it's a nice uh, hard plastic sheath I'm gonna put some paracord on there instead of the the balls so it hangs right around my neck very nice um, I love this knife it, it uh, goes with me wherever I go and uh, it's very inconspicuous and you hardly even know it's there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna it's a bit long so I'm gonna take it and put it through the second set of holes like this and I'm gonna put it through here and then I'm gonna feed it back up to here that way I can get an exact length of where I need it to be and it stays a little bit more secure uh, around my neck. So you can take the big thick piece off like here, hold that in your hand, don't lose it. Take it and put it through like so, so it's locked in. Actually, I'm gonna do it the other way, just like a shoelace run it back on the back side that way it's flush and then and i literally just lost nope there it is cool good eyes i said don't lose it and i almost lost it you can put that back on snap that on put it around your neck put it on your shirt nobody even knows it's there awesome glad to have this knife again thank you ups thank you amazon and cold steel for making great products it's not paid a promotion i'm not being paid to say this i just love their products go check them out online this one was 28 bucks on amazon you'll never regret buying a knife that can go around your neck good stuff now i'm gonna get cutting that wood get rocking all right i got my wood cut now I gotta go drop these post hole diggers off. And then I'll be headed back to the house and uh, see if we can't get into just a little bit of fun. Guys, we're here at Foodland and it is an absolute nut house. This is gonna be a storm to remember. All right, guys, it's time to do the review on the UCO Gear Sweet Fire Strikeable Fire Starter. 
All right, guys, I'm out here, and I'm going to shine the light here so you can see it for a minute, and then the lights are going to go out. All right, here we go. We're going to use the striker that it comes with right here. Got to do it quick because it looks like my... It's like my battery is gonna die. All right, here we go. The striker, it's wet too. Instant. All right, here we go. Right now, we'll see how long it burns. I'm gonna lift this up, pardon the noise. Those are really cool. I like them a lot. The striker works well. Even when it was wet, it's still lit. So, enjoy the flame here and we'll see if it lasts for seven minutes. It is burning like a champ. Awesome, guys. Let's drop it down to eye level here. It's pretty sweet, burning good. Doing good so far. We're at, uh, in about 30 seconds, we'll be at three minutes, two minutes. Still burning very well. Still burning strong, guys. In about uh, 30 seconds, we'll be at four minutes. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's doing well. This would give me enough time to go get some tinder if I didn't have it already. Or some fuel if I didn't have it already. It's got a nice flame. It's got good heat. Still going strong. It may even make it past seven minutes. We're looking for a time of eight minutes and 33 seconds.
Still burning good. Two more minutes. This is the UCO Sweet Fire Strackable Fire Starter. Made from renewal biofuel and it burns for seven minutes. That's what the box says. So right now we are at, so right now we are at seven minutes, 10 seconds on the timer. So another minute and or another 13 seconds so we'll be at six minutes. Still burning. There's still some left on the bottom and I want to flip it over on the bottom. However, I don't know if I move it, if it's gonna put it out. So we have less than a minute to go. Can we get the seven minute mark? It's still burning good. It hasn't gone out yet. We have, right now we need, we need 33 more seconds right now. It's still burning. It's still burning. It still has a flame. It still has a flame. It still has a flame. Sweet. So, seven minutes, that it will. And you can still start a fire after it goes out because there's a lot of heat in that. All right, seven minutes, we made it, and it's still burning. UCO, you made a good product, and it lived up to its um, potential, and actually a little bit longer. So thank you for making an awesome product. Hit the like button if you like this, if you want to see more, Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You know the deal, guys. Keep those lines wet and tight. Live long. Love hard. Cows fish. Peace. Just one out. One more thing, guys. Check this out. Even after the flame went out, it's still one huge ember. So. Technically, you could start a fire with this still. Put it in a tinder bundle and uh, blow it to life.